Hi guys, my name's Bones. If you're watching this, you've obviously got some sort of interest in lathes and machinery and engineering and stuff. So I just thought I'd post up a quick uh, rundown of my lathe, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I purchased this on eBay about three weeks ago and um, it's a Super 7B, uh, hardened bedway. It's an Imperial version, which uh, I would have preferred a metric, but there you go. And uh, it's been very little used. It's a 96 model. Uh, the previous owner who bought it from you sadly died about 10 years ago. So since that time, it's just been sat in the corner of a workshop doing nothing, just sort of getting a bit dusty and grimy. So it really needed nothing doing to it when I got it, apart from a good degunk dust, dust off it, bit of grime, touched up some paint and uh, it's re-oiled it and it's uh, good to go again. So things I've done to it are things like the Tailstock DRO, which is a really easy mod. If anyone hasn't done this and they're thinking about it, really do it because it's just so easy and uh, quick to do. Uh, I've purchased a couple of things for it, like the depth stop, the rear tool post for chamfering and parting off, obviously. Uh, I've made a couple of bits. I made the swarf tray, the chuck holders. And uh, that's about all I've made for it, really. <clears throat> I purchased the DRO set from uh, machinedro.co.uk the other day, and I installed that yesterday, and that seems to be working fantastic. So hopefully I'll be able to sort of tighten up my tolerances a bit, which always have been a bit, uh, bit iffy, to say the least. Uh, it's flickering because of the frame rate of the camera, of course, but uh, normally it's... Uh, there you go. You got the light just right. So that's a worthwhile investment. It's quite expensive. I think it was about 450 quid, but I think um, over the course of the machine's life, or at least how long I've got, it'll pay dividends in the long run. Uh, so like I say, it was an Imperial machine, which is not, not a problem now. I've got that DRO, apart from the gearbox, which I may swap out at some time. I may not. I don't know. I'll just see if I can get used to it or, or I don't know. I'll see. Uh, so what else did I get with it? I got this dividing head, which I think is a, a design by a chap called George Thomas, who was quite a prolific model engineer back in the day. And this one's been really well made, actually. This just needed a quick clean up, and I've painted it in the sort of matching colours of the lathe. I purchased this the other day. That's a worthwhile thing to have. And it's a genuine Myford one as well, so that's nice, and that's been little used. There's a couple of dings and scratches on it, but there's no major crashes or anything like that so what i'll be doing with that was be putting in a, um, a cross cutter mill affair in there eventually uh, so i'll be able to do some indexing and milling of nuts and bolts and various bits and bobs like that so that's it really uh it came with a coolant system which i've not fired up yet and uh, apart from that, yeah, it's good to go. It's good to go. Anyway, I suppose you want to hear it running. Pretty standard. Nice and smooth. Lathe came with three chucks as well. A four-jaw self-centering. Four-jaw independent and a three-jaw and some face plates and stuff. Lots of machinery uh, tools. Some of these I've purchased myself as well. But uh, yeah, really chuffed to bits with it. I'm looking forward to uh, making things with it. I've got a um, keen interest in model engineering, steam engines and things like that. So I'll be making small steam engines and uh, whatnot. But I've also got an interest in watches. So I'm hoping to make some watch cases and watches and I've got an engraver. So I'll be able to sort of do the whole whole thing really, hopefully. The dial, the case back and everything. So really looking forward to getting going on this. It's a shame to get it dirty, it's uh, so clean at the minute. <laughs> well, there you go. So cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed that little run through. If you've got any questions at all, just give me a, a question down below. I'm not the world's expert on Myford Lades by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, if you're a newbie or you want a bit of information or advice, uh, and I'll try and give it as best as I can. I say I'm no expert, but I'm happy to answer any questions I can. So cheers folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.